Hello and welcome to 3D Printing 101 here on Maker's Muse. In this episode we'll be talking about the first three things you should print on your brand new 3D printer. So you've just gotten your first 3D printer, taken it home, unpacked it, inspected its beauty and you're ready to print. But what should you print? Well here's my top three things you should print on your new machine. Firstly is a calibration cube. Fairly boring, yes, but extremely important. A calibration cube lets you test if your printer actually prints accurately. So to do this, you'll need simply a STL file of a cube. I've got one linked down in the description and you'll need a pair of calipers. So these are digital calipers. You can get cheap ones for 20 bucks or less. So the purpose of the cube is quite simple. You print it out at 20 millimeters across and you test to see if it actually is indeed 20 millimeters across. So get your calipers across that print and see if it's accurate and if not you can adjust the suit because there's no point printing things if they're not actually the right size, is there? So that's the calibration cube. So we've got our printer dialed in and we know that it's accurate, now let's try to print something fairly complex. The Yoda head, this is a classic. People with 3D printers for years have been printing this Yoda head as a test of their printer's calibration and proof that their printer actually works. It's a really good example of seeing how fine details your printer is capable of, but also if it's able to reproduce, for example, the ears, which have very steep overhangs and can be quite challenging to reproduce. So if your printer can produce this Yoda head well, you're well on your way to producing many, many successful 3D prints in the future. And finally, you want to print a torture test. A torture test is exactly what it sounds like. You want to see where your printer fails because pretty much every printer has its limits. I highly recommend the Make Torture Test linked in this description. It's very good at testing overhangs and small holes but there's many others that have been designed and worth trying out. If you're after something that's a little less torturous, maybe try the 3D Benchy. The 3D Benchy's a very, very kind torture test, and you're unlikely to see it fail, but it's also a very good indication of print quality of your new 3D printer. So there you have it, three prints you should do on your brand new 3D printer before doing anything else. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to see more 3D Printing 101 here on Maker's Muse, and I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks guys, bye.